Welcome back to a new episode of games I got this month of November and December. And as you can see, this is my goodbye house, goodbye room special. Because as you know, as you know it, next day on Monday, I will be getting my own house and I will not be able to make any videos this year anymore. The, the Game of the Year Awards I will make in January. So this will also be my last video I will make for this year. This is actually my second time I am trying to make this video and not because something went wrong. I actually did a pretty good job but I spent more than two hours talking about games and I was like two hours is a little bit too long to watch. I don't watch videos that are more than 20 minutes so two hours I was like okay I have to talk less and just show off the games and say goodbye for this year. So yeah, yeah, I've been living in this house for 15, 16 years. I'm getting my own place and I just wanted to do something special. So I was like, you know what? I just get a lot of games and I, I know that in November and December I always get a lot of games. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna skip the games I got for November. I will put it in two months in one video and I will have a shitload of games so that I can make it hopefully a good special for you guys and I'm really excited uh, for everything. So let's just start off. For the PlayStation 1 I got King's Field. This is one of the, the pretty much the last childhood games I need. Uh, I already have Warhammer Dark Omen, I finally have Diablo, of course Final Fantasy I got, and this is the only one I got. It was quite expensive. It is in excellent, excellent shape. If you love Dark Souls or Demon Souls, then this game you just have to play. Dark Souls and as stuff is the spiritual successor of King's Hill. This is the same developer. The same kind of creepy feeling I remember absolutely being creeped out of this game. It's amazing. Graphically, you know, it's outdated as shit, but look past that and you'll see a great game. I actually got some PlayStation Vita games. Holy shit. For 4 euros. So don't hate me. 4 euros. I got Rich Racer. I know this game got a shitload of hate and I did it too because you you don't launch a game with only a couple of tracks only a couple of vehicles and then say oh yeah if you want the entire game go and download every track go and download all the cars uh, no of course not I just waited to this game to drop in price and I got it so that's pretty cool I got this Gaia 3 because kind of funny, I wanted to buy a PlayStation Vita game and there were no great games. And I was like, you know, this Gaia is always good, I like this Gaia on my PSP, so I was like, okay, I get it. And for my surprise, graphically, this game looks good, this game actually looks just like this Gaia 4, so that's a good thing. With additional content, additional storylines, if you love technical RPGs, just have to get this guy free. If you have the PlayStation Vita, of course. <laughs> Not a lot of people have. Finally dropped in price Dynasty Warriors next. This is just a full-fledged Dynasty Warrior game on a handheld system. It's the best Dynasty Warrior game on a handheld system you can get at the moment. It looks great, it plays great, the touchscreen options suck. Luckily you can turn it off, but it's a great game if you love Dynasty Warriors. In November I got to the Game Expo here in Holland and I didn't saw any game. When I, we were going home I just checked out on the game store and saw New Little King Story. I remember this game because it's a port of a Wii game. I was really into like, oh this looks great and you can build your own kingdom and you have soldiers. And you have. But when it's shameful for the developers, when there are more than like 10, 7, 10 enemies on screen and you know, units on screen, the frame rate goes down to just incredible low, unplayable low. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me? 
The heart, the place you feel it is like four times stronger than the Wii. And there are frame rate issues with a Wii port. Hello. So, of course, I stopped playing it. For the PSP. Um, yeah. Two months ago, I was just checking out on some games, on some fighting games. And I was like, you know, in Japan there are so many fighting games. In Japan there are so many different type of games. Like, I call them robot games, like Gundam and Armored Core and stuff. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try and import some Japanese games. And a couple of games went to a lot of games. And a lot of games went to, you know what, I am going to import a lot of Japanese games. Because they are pretty cool and they, never, they will never come here. So for the PSP, I got a game that, that I, the first one I already have um, on the PlayStation 2. It's called Tenkai, but in Japan it's called Sengoka Ace Episode 3. So this is the third one on the PSP. It's a shmup. Not really a good one, but it's a decent one. It looks decent and I like shmups. I love the cover art. The cover art is awesome. This is a game I actually want to do a video for next year and explain everything and it's Gladden 2. So remember this, Gladden 2, not the downloadable version but the Japanese retail version. Again, I love the cover art. So those were the handheld games I got. I already made a video for this, you can check it out, like somewhere here, but I got the Japanese PlayStation 2. It's the version, like the super slim version, it came out in 2009, only in Japan. And the biggest difference is that the AC adapter is built in the PlayStation 2, so you only have a wire and plug it in and that's it. It's the special edition, limited edition, white version. I got it incredible cheap just here in Holland and that's really cool with a couple of games. Again, when I was at the Game Expo there is always a store that sells gaming merchandise, a lot of merchandise, both cheap and really expensive, hard to find, rare items and not so rare items. And at that time I was playing a lot of Diablo 3. Yes, I like Diablo 3. And I saw those keychains. I actually got three keychains, but one of them I gave my brother because of course he also loves Diablo. And this is just the name Diablo 3. And this is actually the head of Diablo himself. So pretty cool. I think they were quite expensive though. They were like 8 or 9 euros each. So kind of rip off but doesn't really matter. For the PlayStation 2, I got only one European game and that's called Psy Varior. It's a schmop, it's a bullet hell game and if I can see it at the back, it looks really frantic, really chaotic, looks cool. It's still sealed. I will definitely, when I'm at my new place, I will definitely try it out. Because luckily uh, in the week of Christmas, I have the entire week off so I can play a lot of games. Now, all those games are Japanese PlayStation 2 games. I have a Naruto game. I am I don't like Naruto. I don't like the anime. I don't like the characters. I just don't like the style of Naruto. But I did try the game out. I have Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 2, I think, on the PS3. I did like it. I got this game with the PlayStation 2. A friend of mine is a huge fan of Naruto. He played it. Graphically, it definitely looked decent. Gameplay-wise, it looked good. He liked it, so I will keep it. Metal Slug 5, got it with the PlayStation 2. Already have it, uh, European version. Same goes with Capcom VS SNK 2. I already have the European version, but you know it got with PlayStation 2. And this is a game I was so happy that he would sell it with the PlayStation 2. I was like, holy shit. And that is Dodo Pachi. This game is amazing. It's great. It plays great. It's I completed it like in one sitting. It's really fast completed. But if you master this game, you are 
you earn my respect if you can master it. If you cannot be hit with a bullet, you earn my respect. This game is hard. I die like every freaking second. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So yeah, Dono Pachi, those were the games I got with the PlayStation 2. Those, these are the, the games I ordered from Japan. In the first Arcana Hearts. I've been hearing that Arcana Hearts 2 is actually a really bad game. The funny thing is, I tried this game out and to my biggest surprise, graphically, this game looks better on the PlayStation 2 than Arcana Hearts 3 looks on the PS3. Leave in the comments below, why the hell is that? How can a game on the PlayStation 2, the first game ever made, look better than the third one on the PS3? Kind of weird, but you know, it has less characters than Arcana Hearts 3, less Arcanas, gameplay wise are less moves, but it's still a great fighting game. This is the game I was checking out on. This is the game why I wanted to import Japanese games. Because I, I didn't even know it, it existed. I looked on some gameplay on YouTube and I was like, holy shit. This looks awesome. I need to have this game. And that is Sengoka Basara X Cross. This is a fighting game with the characters of Sengoku Basara. And that is a Dynasty Warriors clone that is actually better than Dynasty Warriors or Samurai Warriors because it takes place in Japan. It's more over the top. There's like a character that fights with six swords. So it's over the top. This is a fighting game. Graphically, it looks as good as Guilty Gear X2. Not as good as Guilty Gear XX Action Core Plus or Blaze Way is it on PS2? No, it's not on PS2. But it looks good. It plays faster than Guilty Gear. I've set this AI to easy and holy shit I got my ass kicked. The AI is so fast or a lot of fast moves, a lot of combos, but I had a lot of fun playing this game. I cannot wait to finally play this game with a friend. It's actually, actually funny because I ordered this game and it said that it was used but it's actually sealed with the official PlayStation 2 seal and that is Soul Eater. I think this is some, some kind of anime but it is a fighting game and I've been hearing it's a pretty bad fighting game but from my opinion it looked pretty great. It, wasn't, it was pretty cheap so I got it. This is actually a funny story. This is Nemco X Capcom and look at the box art. Look. Doesn't it look like a fighting game? I was like, oh my shit, Namco X Capcom fighting game. I was like, holy damn. And most of the time when I check out on Japanese games, I check out on YouTube to see if it's a visual novel or a fighting game or an action game or an RPG. Because visual novels and like RPGs, I, I don't import them because I cannot play it. I can't play I cannot know the story with visual novels, it's all about the story, so I cannot play it. And I forgot doing that with this game. So I spent around 20 euros for a game I cannot even play. But just for the sake of trying it out, I will try it out sometimes. And it's still a good addition to my collection. So those were my Japanese PlayStation 2 games and now on to the current gen. This is not next generation, this is current generation. The Wii U is next generation. And as you can see, I actually got more PlayStation 3 games than most casual gamers have in their entire collection. But it doesn't matter. Most of them though, pretty much all of them I got for a good price. I have no retail games, I am not gonna buy any launch retail games, that's what I meant. So yeah, not like 60 euros and stuff. Dark Souls, Prepare to Die Edition, I just had to get it, but your original Dark Souls save file will not work with the Prepare to Die Edition retail version, so I, I, I also had to get the downloadable version doesn't matter though because I would support from software 100% to try and 
that they will make Dark Souls 2 and holy shit, we all did a good job on that, Dark Souls 2 is coming out. Ratchet and Clank Q4 is finally a new Ratchet and Clank game and it's my least favorite one graphically, it looks like shit compared to Crack and Time. Gameplay wise it's just a Ratchet and Clank game. But this is a more smaller game, it doesn't have a big story, doesn't have a lot of interesting worlds, interesting characters. It's more like a small downloadable game, it plays like a tower defense game mixed with the action shooting and platforming for Ratchet and Clank. It's cool if you have if you're a budget gamer because it only cost me 14 euros. It's cool when you have kids, like two kids or three kids because you can play together. But if you're thinking, hey, this is a full-fledged Ratchet and Clank game, no, it's not. Mugen Souls, it's still sealed. I'm not planning on playing this game. I only got it because it was kind of cheap and I just want to support the Japanese RPG genre. Why I'm not playing it? It looks too over the top, too complicated, too many menus, too many gameplay mechanics that just sucks and yeah. Dead Island, because I got a lot of games, finally Amazon uh, UK have also Black Friday so I got a lot of games that are discounted and I got this game for 11 euros, 11, 12 euros, it's Dead Island, the game of the year edition, even though I cannot remember they ever got a game of the year, maybe for some unknown website, I don't give a shit. But yeah, that I, I've been hearing good things about this game, I've been hearing bad things about this game, but I just want to try it out and it looks interesting. Resident Evil 6. I'm not going to say anything about this anymore, I already made a video for it, I already have been in discussions. This is a great game, but don't expect Resident Evil 2 or 3 or 4 kind of experience, it's different. Finally this dropped in a good price, again 11 euros, Kingdom of Amalur Reckoning. This is a game I was looking out for a long long time and why I didn't buy it is only because I know this game is absolutely massive in content. I've been hearing that the, the gameplay, you know, the battle system is absolutely fantastic so I'm definitely eager to try it out but I will when I have my week off. This is a special game and not because it's a good game, it's because this is a game that on my birthday a friend of mine gave me and nobody has ever given me a game on my birthday or Christmas, doesn't really matter and it's Resident, Resident Evil Operation uh, Raccoon City. I've been hearing a lot of bad things about this game, this is not made by Capcom, this is made by a different studio and western studio and what can I say about that? Under the feet HD I just want to point out that I've been saying that this is shmup and quite a few people are like Claude Kill, this is not a shmup this is a twin stick shooter okay it is a twin stick shooter and a pretty darn good one and on retail that's awesome Doom Free, this is kind of a, I think it's 25, a 20 year edition of Doom. It has Doom Free made for the current gen consoles and Doom 1 and 2. I played more Doom 1 and 2 than I played Doom Free, but it's still a good game. And I remember the time when Doom Free came out. It was like graphically the shit. It was like awesome. Oh, this is wrong. <clears throat> Borderlands 2. I, I think I already made a video for this. Just check out my page. This game is definitely game of the year content. It's an amazing game. I love the art style. I love the battle system. If you love first person shooters, go get this game. If you love RPGs, go try it out. It's a first person shooter, yes, but it is definitely an RPG. This game Borderlands made a new genre. 
and that is the shooter RPG. This is awesome. No, not Fallout. Not Fallout. This game. This is a Diablo type of you know RPG. It's awesome. This is. I cannot say it enough. This game is so good. Now these PS3 games are all Japanese PlayStation 3 games, and yeah, Aqua Plaza is pretty much my first. Is this? Yes, this is my first Japanese PlayStation 3 game ever. It cost quite a lot of money because this is all characters of visual novels, White Album, Two Hearts 2. So, like I said, they're quite expensive. It's a great finding. I also made a video for this game. You can again see it. Graphically, this looks good. Gameplay wise, it's okay. Don't expect Blaze Blue, Street Fighter. Or Guild Gear type of polish, balancing characters and characters design, but it's still a great. Definitely, if you are a fan of the visual novels, then this game is a must-have. But like I said, it's pretty pricey. This is a game I don't even know the name of. It's something like Legista thing. I will put it in the description below. I'm sorry, I forgot the name. And like. I said with Gladon 2 or Gladon X2, I will make a video in January explaining why I got this game in a Japanese retail box and not just download the American or European version on the PlayStation Network. I tried it out and it's a great game. It's an older type of RPG. So like think about Super Nintendo but then with HD graphics. It looks pretty good and it plays pretty good. Robot games, I love my robot games. This is a Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn or UC. It's still sealed, I haven't played it yet. And you know what the funny thing is? I tried out some videos and I was like, oh, this game looks pretty good. And uh, you know, I was like, I bet this game is like 80 euros. You know how much this game cost me? 20 euros. Only 20 euros. That's a steal for a Gundam. I was like, no, Gundam is a big name, it must be really expensive, but no, it's not. This game is a fighting game, it reminds me of Super Smash Brothers and Sony's All-Star Battle Royale, but then with watercolor paint graphics. It looks fantastic, absolutely fantastic. It's called Yokai Revenge of the Yoko Clan, something like that. It's from an anime. Last but definitely not least, one of the games a couple, in 2010, I was like, I hope this game comes out in the West. It never came. It's called um, Another Sanctuaries Episode R. This is a game that puts macros, armored core, all type of Gundam series, put them together in one game. Let them fight against each other, let them fight with each other. And I have no idea what the story is about. I have no idea why they made this. Is this like a, a long running series? Is this like an anime maybe that puts in all the, the games? But there was a shit load of robots to choose from. You can upgrade them, you can level up them and the gameplay is really easy. So I actually been playing this game quite a lot. I, I love it. I love this game. Graphically, I was unimpressed. I, I definitely was expecting better graphics. Because I do know this is a game that sold a lot of units in Japan. So I was like, it must be a, a big name game. And graphically, it's unimpressing. But it's still a great game. I just, I love the box art. I love it. And again, this game only cost me, I think, 25 euros. Something like that. So yeah, these are all the games I got in November and December. Now some of you are like screaming, Cloud Girl, where is Little Big Planet Karting? Cloud Girl, where is Sony's All Star Battle Royale? Calm down, calm down. They are still coming. From my birthday, I got some gift cards. From Christmas, I will be getting some gift cards, and then I will buy Sony's All Star Battle Royale and. Little Big Planet Karting. I also want to mention though that I still need three games that are shipped already to me.
But here in Holland we had a snowstorm, so I think it's delayed because of that. It's two PlayStation 3 games, just a European version, and one PS3 shmup, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of games I got this month. Um, it's still a long video, like 25 minutes, I'm really sorry about that, but as you can see there were a lot of games I got. I just want to thank all of you for being here for me, watching my videos, subscribing to my channel, or already being a subscriber to my channel this entire year, just, just because again, this will be my last video this year, this will be the last time that I will be standing right here, this will be the last time you will, seeing, will be seeing me standing here with uh, on my back all my games, and uh, because of course my house will be bigger than this, and I'm not really sure of where I'm gonna make my newer videos, it's, it's, it's really weird, that I've been you know, living here for 15, 16 years and now I have to go. But I think it's better because of course I'm, I'm 26 years old and uh, I, I don't want to live forever with my parents. There is a time where you just step up and think I have to change things. And uh, so yeah, I, I just want to thank all of you for supporting me. I remember, you know, beginning, uh, a lot of people were laughing at me. I remember at school, that I, I never had a direction, I knew I was something different because I, I just loved gaming so much, I have this huge passion for gaming and not only for gaming but for the PlayStation and don't get me wrong, I respect the Wii, I respect Nintendo, I respect Microsoft with their Xbox, their great systems, I just prefer the PlayStation above them all and, and like I said again, thank you a lot, this is really weird to say a thing like this, you know, to say goodbye and uh, don't get me wrong, again, it's not goodbye for my channel, just goodbye for this year and goodbye for, uh, yeah, for, 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 the, for this house. So yeah, <laughs> thank you all for supporting me and I'll promise next year will be even better and uh, the PlayStation will be second place, I promise you that. PlayStation 3 will overtake the Xbox 360 and then onwards to dominating the Wii and uh, so yeah that's pretty awesome. I hope you all have a great holiday and um, definitely look out for firework. I want to see you next year with all 10 fingers. Have a nice New Year's Eve, go do something, don't play all, all day long and uh, I'll definitely make videos where I'm moving my stuff and I will show you how this room looks completely empty. I will show you how my house looks completely empty and then of course how it looks when everything is done. And I just cannot say it enough. Thank you so much for supporting me. I never thought I would have this kind of support. Um, no, I'm, I'm getting to the million views. That's just <laughs> freaking in, 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 that's absolutely incredible. I'm pretty much speechless, speechless, blah, speechless about that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this last video. Happy holidays and see you in 2013, the best gaming year we will ever have as PlayStation 3 gamers. Cloudkill, signing out.